This is an update to the What's a Weibo article of May 20 discussing China ranking first in the Amnesty International Refugee Welcome Index. So for those of you who have not read about it before, on May 19, Amnesty International published its very first Refugee Welcome Index based on a global survey of 27,000 people in 27 countries. And according to their results, Chinese people ranked first in their acceptance of refugees. 94% of Chinese people allegedly would welcome refugees into their country and a staggering 46% of Chinese people would welcome refugees into their own homes. But discussions on Chinese social media show a completely different picture. Together with What's a Weibo author Dian Dian Guo, I went online to see what the majority of Weibo users were saying about this survey, which became a trending topic on Chinese social media. And what we found is that not only does the majority of Weibo users say that they do not identify with these results, a different online survey by Global, by Global Times also gives a completely different picture. According to this online survey that was done on the same day that the MST report was published, 90% of Chinese people would not be willing to accept refugees into their homes and 80% of people would not be willing to accept refugees into their city or neighborhood. So we have two completely different results, one by Amnesty International and one by Global Times. How come there is such a huge difference? Well, firstly, taking Chinese social media as the barometer to public attitudes, we can say that it is most likely Amnesty International's report that is flawed. One of the reasons why it is flawed could be that there is a linguistic misunderstanding. According to China Digital Times and Quartz magazine, uh, this is exactly what's happening because of the translation of the word refugee in Chinese, which is nanmin, meaning literally meaning people in difficulty. And this has nothing to do with it being on a national, on an international level. So according to China Digital Times and Quartz magazine, people who were participating in this survey might have misunderstood and thought that they were referring to domestic uh, victims of disaster and not to international refugees. Although this is a possibility, it's not very likely because lately in Chinese media, uh, they often use the Chinese word for refugee, nanmin, in, uh, in regards to Syria and other countries. And again, they have other words for domestic victims of disaster. So it is a possibility, not likely. Another possibility is that there is a social desirability bias, which means the following. Amnesty International, according to their report, uh, made a phone call to 1,055 different participants in 18 cities, and they interviewed them about, the, uh, about their refugee attitudes. But by phoning them, uh, this probably means that these people already knew they were being contacted by a human rights organization, and the answers that they were giving to Amnesty International were probably those that they would feel be viewed as favorable. Uh, and if this happens, which you, you call the social desirability bias, if this happens, it means people don't give their real opinions and that your survey results are not trustworthy. Another possibility is that there was already a connection of the people they were calling to Amnesty International. And if there is a connection, it could be that people are already more favorable towards welcoming refugees than other people who have no connection to a human rights organization. And also this would make the survey not representative of the whole Chinese population. So, um, all in all, I think that we could say that the results of Amnesty International are very murky. If you look on Chinese social media, you will see that the majority of Chinese netizens are not that welcoming to refugees for various reasons. Maybe Amnesty International should review its survey methods and be more transparent about who it is that they're actually interviewing. And in that case, I would be very interested to see where China will rank in next year's Refugees Welcome Index. We will keep you updated if that happens in 2017. See you next time.